Let's get the show started, ladies and gentlemen. A five-time winner of the People's Choice Award. A very good friend of mine. You know him, you love him. It's Will Anderson! Hello. Oh, that was awesome, by the way. Uh, I love this comedy festival. I've done it for 21 years. It's 30 years old this year, and it's been the greatest part of my entire life. It's honestly been the greatest thing that's ever happened to me. And I love this festival so much. It's overwhelming. But the funniest thing I saw in the festival last year was not by one of my uh, friends and fabulous stand-up comedians. No, the funniest thing I saw last year, uh, I went to the first ever Reclaim Australia rally. Now, I need to point out it was by accident. It happened last year during the comedy festival and I'd gone for a walk during the day and I'd had a bit of my hip medicine. Who's your doctor, Will? Dre. I, uh, <laughs> so I'd had a little and uh, so I've gone for a bit of a walk and I wanted to get a veggie burger at Lord of the Fries and I was going to eat it in the botanical gardens and then do my show that night. That was my plan. But I could not get to the gardens because Reclaim Australia on their motorbikes with their Aussie flags over their face were like, no, we're blocking it off because we hate halal food. And they were so mad because Vegemite was halal. They were like, Vegemite's halal. What next, me Aussie fucking hummus will be halal? <laughs> and they're mad about the burqa, but they loved Australia and we knew that because they had Aussie flags on their faces and it was awesome, right? And they loved Australia so much. So I've got there with my veggie burger and I'm like, okay, well, I'm just going to stay and watch a bit of this. And the guy got up to make his speech and it was awesome. He loved Australia so much he refused to take off his Aussie flag to make his speech. So he's speaking through, the, it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. He goes, we've got to ban the burqa. <laughs> he said, you can't see what people's faces look like. <laughs> I'm like, get fucked. That is not a real guy. That is one of the guys from The Chaser. Check, check his face. <laughs> But it was not. It was a real guy and he kept talking. I would have dropped the mic and walked off. Comedy done forever, but no. <laughs> no, he had more to say. He pointed down Swanson Street from Flinders Street to the Burke Street Mall. He goes, I was in the Burke Street Mall the other day and all I saw were burkers. Now listen to the internal poetry that you've already heard in this sentence. I was in the Burke Street Mall and all I saw were burkas. Now, remember, <laughs> this sentence isn't over. We're halfway through the sentence and it's already the best half sentence I have ever heard in my life. He goes, I was in the Burke Street Mall the other day and all I saw were burkas. And then, without a word of a lie, he looks at the crowd and just goes, burka, burka, burka. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God, it's the Swedish chef from the Muppets. <laughs> if he had dropped the mic, if he had walked off stage, still the best thing I'd ever seen, but he was not done. <laughs> he pointed to that 24 hour McDonald's and he was like, I was in that Macca's the other day. It was un-Australian. Now, firstly, great place to make your last stand for our great country. If we cannot defend the McCafe, we have nothing. But <laughs> he said, I was in that Maccas the other day and four of the people serving me were wearing burkas. And all I could think was, man, the burkas are better at Hungry Jacks. <laughs> so, you guys have been an absolutely fantastic crowd. Have a great night.